Wow. All right, Shannon. This time, is he really retiring for good? When it seems like there's something going on with February 1st, if I'm not mistaken, I think, I think it was last year. One year ago today. One year ago today. Mm -hmm. um, Skip, I do think it's for real, just because how the season played out. I think the finality of it, I think last season weighed a lot. Skip, he has started to look gaunt. And I, I don't know if what happened off the field, had that been brewing, um, weighed on his mind. It had to have weighed on his mind. And then the season, not going according to... Tom is always... It, it, a football season for Tom Brady has always pretty much gone according to plan. Even if they didn't win the Super Bowl, Skip, That's true. he played well. Yep. I Last agree. year, yep. he didn't play well. They didn't go to the Super Bowl, and he had all the things going on with him off the field. And just listening at his voice and as it start to break, you see the hurt, the pain that, you know what, it's over. This 23-year 23, 23 ride that I've been on, and it's been great and you're probably never going to see another ride quite like mine ever in your life in the NFL, is over. It's come to a stop. And it's tough. It's tough to walk away from doing from something to skip that you absolutely love. He absolutely loved everything about the game of football. He loved watching film. He loves meetings. He loved the, Obviously, you love the game. You love to hear the roar of the crowd. He loved being around his teammate in the locker room, on the bus ride, on the planes. And that's over. You're never going to, it's never going to be like that again, Skip. I don't care if you play a thousand rounds of golf. You can play with Michael Jordan. You can play with Tiger Woods. It's not going to be the same what you had in the locker room. That camaraderie ain't yep. coming back. Yep. You can call the guys and talk to them, but it's not. But Skip, this year weighed on him. And you can tell, Skip, from the opening snap, Skip, he was highly agitated. Yeah, Tom is a fierce competitor. We get that. But the, but the, the going, the volatility in which he displayed early on, I like Skip. He, he, he's very, very agitated. Things didn't go well right out the gate. Yeah, they look good to open the night. But after that, open the night and then the what? The second to the last game of the season when they played Carolina. But everything in between did not go the way Tom Brady envisioned. And he just come to the realization, it's going to be a bad look for me to start all of a sudden. I need to go to a team that has an, an offensive line like Philly, that can run the ball like Philly, that have skill position like the Dolphins. That ain't what Tom Brady. Tom Brady was the missing ingredient. He didn't need to go somewhere, Skip, and like, well, if everything is perfect, Tom can fit right in. And he's like, you know what? Once he surveyed the landscape, he's like, man, come on. I know it's hard, Tom. It's very hard. I can hear the crackling as your voice starts to yeah, break when you say the finality yep. of my career is over. But I think this is the right thing to do, Skip. And if you watched him, if you watched him this season, I think most people realize that, yeah, Tom, it's time to hang it up. Mm. Okay. I hear everything you just said. I will say that as opposed to last year, when I pushed back on this day last year, right. I said, I don't get this, and I'm not, I'm not trusting it. This feels permanent to me because of what did and did not happen this year mm -hmm. on the football field and what did happen off the field to Tom in his personal life. Yeah. And it played out so publicly. It did. Even though ESPN reported just this past Sunday that at least two teams were very interested in signing Tom Brady, mm -hmm. and there may have been more than the two. two. So it's not like he didn't have options. Y you said last year, you remember you were a little miffed. Well, they, they didn't, the, the league didn't make him retire. They right. didn't finally shut the door and say, no, nope, right. nobody wants you anymore. Right. They did want him. Somebody wanted him. Two or three or whatever teams wanted him. No, I wanted the league to make I want the guys to hit him so hard. That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I don't want to okay, do this anymore. That's it. I don't want to do this anymore because right. that's what happens to every other <laughs> human who plays this Especially sport. Especially the quarterback. Okay. But now, as a longtime supporter of his, I don't know him off the field at all. I, I don't have any personal connection with him at all. Mm -hmm. But just as a believer in him as a football player. Right. It was starting to, to smell wrong, to taste wrong to me that Tom Brady was suddenly going to become, once again, a mercenary quarterback chasing one last ring. Yeah. Am I going to chase it to the Raiders in Las Vegas? Am I going to chase it all the way back to the Bay Area the where Bay. I grew up, to the San Francisco 49ers? Would they have me? Would they, would they stoop to have me, the Shanahans, for one year as a stopgap? as they try to get Brock Purdy healthy again and see what they have in Trey Lance or trade Trey Lance. 
that was the, the runaway conjecture, the speculation was that looked like, oh, well, he's almost gift wrapped to the 49ers. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, how, how long are you going to chase? If you're the GOAT, which, which I believe it's, it's no doubt runaway GOAT, mm -hmm. then how many times do you chase another ring? How right. many more places do you go? Because at some point, people are like, oh, here we go again. Right. Right. right? Exactly. Okay. But, but, Skip, when you say that, let me ask you this. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Tom Brady goes somewhere and he wins another ring. Does that change the way you think of him? So what, he's a bigger GOAT? He's the, 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 he's the, the five, six, seven-time GOAT? He is Tom Brady. Every record, passing record that you can possibly have, every playoff, whatever measure you want to use for a player in a team sport, he has it. Okay. So what could he do I got that it. would change what Skip Bayless I, I, I'm thinks of him? It's just who he is, how he's built, what makes him happy. Clearly, if you could have played another 10 years, you would have played another 10 years, but you just couldn't. It happens to every mortal who plays this game. At some point, your body betrays you. Yeah. Your psyche betrays you, and it just says, I can't do this. Yeah. It's just too hard. Yeah. Right? Yes. Special skill, okay. skill you got to run. You yeah. got to be able to run. I mean, Tom was never reliant on his legs. No. no. So what stuck in my craw was, can he really walk away from 8 and 10? Because that's what they finished yeah. this year, 8 mm -hmm. and 10. Yeah. Can you really walk away from pretty much getting blown off your home field by my Dallas Cowboys, a team that you had owned, a team that you were 7-0 and 0 against? Right. Can you say, that's my swan song game? Can you live with that going forward? Because it's not Brady-esque to right. do that. So that's why I thought, well, maybe he'll say, okay, I need one last to Ross somewhere, and but, I got to right the wrong of eight and ten. But here's the thing, okay? You say, how can he live with eight and ten? What's to say he's not five and twelve next year? What's okay, to well, say he's well, not certainly, six? And okay, well, you you could make that case. I think he started then, to look at it like okay, that too. But then I look back on how did he finish in the end? How did he finish? Well, you you pointed out when all the chips got pushed to the middle of the table in a terrible division, nonetheless. But when the chips got pushed. And they had a home game against a very hot Carolina team with a head coach who still should be their head coach and Steve Wilkes because they had rallied back around him and they were on a late season roll on, on both sides of the ball, running the football especially and playing top 10 defense over their last six games of the year. Right. What did he do to that top 10 defense? He destroyed it. He threw for 432 yards and he hit Mike Evans with three home run touchdown bombs flipped the script in that game because they were in trouble losing that. They were down 14 to nothing. Then they were down again, whatever it was in the, the third quarter, yeah. um, fourth, early fourth quarter, they were down 21 to 14. I think this is when you know it's time. Yeah. You said Tom Brady won seven Super Bowls, but you mm -hmm. can't remember a throw in which he made in mm -hmm. any of those Super Bowls. Now you go back, you can remember a game. Tom Brady played all these years. There is never a game that you can remember mm -hmm. in his career where Tom Brady did this, this, and this. This season, you can remember one game. Mm -hmm. That lets you know the greats, you don't remember a particular okay. game because they've been great for so long. Okay. Every game seemed like it was damn near great. Okay, but you said that he played horrible the whole year, but 432 and three touchdowns without an interception is pretty great to he me. Is, in, in a game for all the division marbles, that, that's something you can hang your helmet on and say, I'll hang on to that going forward. If right? you want to say, okay, 17 games. If I give you get the first game, they won 19-3. If I give you the game they played in Munich, uh, uh, they beat mm -hmm. Seattle, they 26-21. Yep. And I give you the and I give you the game against Carolina. That's three games okay. in which you said Tom Brady looked like Tom Brady okay. out of 17. Okay, but obviously nothing worked out, as you said. I thought they were going to be really good, and the offensive line never came back together and started to get hurt with both the tackles. Right. So they fell to 24th in pass block win rate. Well, when you're 45 years of age and you're fairly immobile, you're going to have a hard time if you're 24th because his needs to be top five in pass block win yes. rate, and then you're going to have something because he can still throw. There's nothing wrong with his arm. There was no diminished arm talent. You saw what he did against Carolina. You saw the three bombs to Mike Evans. There's right. nothing wrong with the arm, but you have to have another second to yes. throw those kinds of passes. Yeah, but Skip, I mean, there are not very many offensive lines that can give you an opportunity to hitch and then double hitch mm -hmm. and throw the ball. Normally, when you hitch okay. once, that ball needs to come know, out or you're going to get shot. 24th, you're, you're going to lose. You're just going to lose. Yeah. But a whole lot of Patrick Mahomes would have a hard time with the 24th yeah. pass block win rate. 
the receivers as a group this year. There was no Gronk. I thought he was going to come back. He called them. They had discussions. And he decided, no, they, they don't have any salary cap left for me. And I don't want to do this for free. As much as I love Tommy, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah, do yeah. it for free. So there was no Gronk. You had two rookie tight ends. You had Mike Evans and Chris Godwin coming off of knee reconstruction. They're not speed receivers. No. They're, they're not. Mike can trick you and run by you, mm -hmm. as we saw against Carolina. That's Carolina's fault. But the point is. They fell to a passing, uh, a pro football pass, I'm so, uh, sorry, receiver grade of 19th overall right. in, in receiving core grade. Well, it's, it's not good enough. And then the, the run game, what's, we're going to talk about Sean Payton here in a minute going to your Denver Broncos, mm -hmm. but what is his big mantra? We have to improve running the football to protect our quarterback. That's yeah. the quote from him yesterday. Right. Well, Brady's run game protected him zero because right. it was dead last in the NFL. Okay, so that's not working. And then the defense that had helped carry them right. to the Super Bowl victory over Patrick Mahomes, they were going back to, it was just terribly inconsistent. And I thought it hurt that Todd Bowles, who I still consider the best defensive coordinator in football right now, became the head coach. And what happens is it dilutes your ability to, to focus just on the defense. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden you're struggling in every area. The defense can't have your back. And it went from bad to worse. But... What's the big picture of it? Well, what, what, what can he – I'm trying to rationalize how he's thinking about this. In the second half against Dallas, he didn't exactly fold his tent and go home because he just kept on flinging. He threw for 255 in the second half right. against my Dallas Cowboys, which they, they were a top-five defense, obviously. Mm -hmm. And you saw what they did at San Francisco against the kid Brock Purdy. They were pretty good. That, there was no 255 yards passing in the second half of right. that game. And then let's see if, if we can. Let's see what happened at the end of this game for Tom Brady because he throws one to Mike Evans at the two-minute warning that would have actually made the game somewhat interesting. This is to Mike Evans. And I thought, boy, it hit him right on the fingertips. Usually Mike catches that ball. Mm -hmm. I, I consider that by his standards a drop. It is a drop. Okay? So if, if he hangs on, that would have given Brady, just in the second half alone, 306 yards passing against right. Dallas. Uh, you, you can argue empty calories, but yes. they're, like they're, they're down and out. But that would, have made, that would have presented an onside kick possibility for them to miraculously get back in the game. Well, he's had a few miracles that he's made in his mm -hmm. career. Okay, so instead of that being 306 yards, then he, he throws, the, the, if we'd see the next pass, uh, this is, this is going to be his last completion. So this is what you're going to have to hang on to for Tom Brady. This is to Julio Jones. And I kind of love this because Julio is wide open on this play. It went for 12 yards. I, I love it that he completed a pass to one of the great receivers we've ever had in this yeah. game. I think that's a That'll great be a trivia, right? That'll be a trivia question okay, one but, day. But I, I do love it. It went to Julio because he recruited Julio to come help and Julio couldn't stay healthy all year, right? right? Okay, then let's see the very last pass because now it gets to fourth down. It's fourth and six at the 35. This is a minute and 12 left. And unfortunately, this is the last pass that Tom Brady threw in his career. This is it, and it's just a little high and hard for Julio, and he couldn't get his hands up to snatch it. Right. Okay, so that's – I'm, I'm going to presume at this point – that's the last ball Tom Brady ever threw in the National Football mm -hmm. League. You just saw it right yeah. there. That's the one you're going to put in the time capsule. Okay, what else does he have to hang on to, to walk away from? Well, he has to know in his heart, okay, I did break my own record this year for yeah. attempts and completions. Yes. Well, it's it's not great because you went 8-10, and 10, and they're, they're having to just throw the – fire out of it because they can't run the ball at all. Mm -hmm. You can say they abandoned the run. Well, they just decided they couldn't run it. So here we go. And, and he, he completes the most balls ever completed in the history of the league. Yes. Trust me, he's clinging to that. Like, okay, I still have that as, as a last sign of respect. I did do that. And so it makes it slightly easier for him to walk away saying, well, I did break the all-time completion record. Well, I'm going to disagree with you on that because Tom Brady was never defined by numbers. Remember when Peyton Manning was putting up the Star Wars numbers, Tom Brady was winning Super Bowls. And everybody yep. said, I'd rather have Super Bowls than the Star Wars numbers. Okay. Now, so we can't, we can't chain move, move the needle for Tom because he didn't win and says, well, he did throw to complete the most passes. He did have the most pass okay, attempts. I, I got it. But I'm just talking about how does he justify in his mind not needing a straight jacket to pull him off the field. He made this choice. He said, okay, I, I can walk away from what? Well, he, it, trust me, he doesn't love the 8 and 10. Right. 
he did have the 432. He had a decent second half against Dallas, and he broke his own record for completion. So he's trying to justify or rationalize in his mind, at least I did that I at think, 45. I think he justifies in his mind, Skip. I can't do this on a consistent yeah. basis. What and that's what and I said I said the thing is as we as you start to age as an aging player, Skip, you can sum it up here and there, but it's the consistency. Tom Brady, Skip, we never worried about Tom Brady. We we could always we never focused on one game. Well, he did this one game. Tom Brady was eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve yeah. games of consistency. 300, 350, three touchdowns, four touchdowns. Yeah. We Skip. I mean, the only thing we got to hang our hats on is if we really look at it. Is one game. Yep. The 432, three, four touchdown games against Carolina. That is not how Tom Brady wants to be remembered. That's not how he wants to be measured. But there are not many mortals who can throw for 432 in a game for all the marbles in the division. Trust me. There aren't, there, even playing right now, as young as you want to go, yeah. it's hard to do that oh, yeah, against yeah. that defense. Yeah, yes. But Skip, here's the thing, though. What about all the 199s, the 200s yeah. that he threw for? Okay. Well, again, Terrible pass blocking, no run game, average receivers, no Gronk, no AB. It it was a long, hard year, and I think it took a an emotional toll oh, yeah. on him, as did trying to go through a divorce mm -hmm. and and finalize it during the football season. Yeah. Oh. And uh, I, enough is enough. And again, I don't think there's any way that a team could call him next week or the next week and say, hey, I think you've done. We, we need you. I, I think it's over and out. I think he just told you that and what he posted. Yeah. I did the big retirement speech last year, so you only get one of those. So I'm not going to do it this time, but it's over. I think last year, Skip, he, he, like, he retired, but he looked at his season. Yeah. I threw for 5,000 yards. I led the league in touchdown passes. Why am I walking away again? I think when he looks back now, what is he looking back saying, okay, why am I continuing to play? Yep. Looking at his play, he evaluates himself. If he's honest with himself, yep. looking at himself this past season versus a year ago, you yep. can understand why. Okay, but remember, coming off last year, his peers in this league, all the younger players in this league, all younger than, than he, they voted him the best player, not the best quarterback, the best player in the whole league coming into his final season. Right. Well, you got that to hang on to, yes. right? And that's why I kept arguing last year. I don't see how he's done yet because he's playing at too high of a level because he was coming off a game in which they lost what I'm sure he considered a heart crusher, not heartbreaker, yeah. at home mm -hmm. to the team that was about to go win Ram. the championship. Mm -hmm. And you did fall behind, but you roared back. You scored 24, I'm sorry, yeah, 24 unanswered points, right? Mm -hmm. To get it to 27 all. Yes. And... They blew a defense. They blew a, a blitz. Half of them got blitz. Half of them didn't get blitz. And they let Cooper Cup, the triple crown winning receiver, run right down the middle of the field, wide open, uncovered, to catch a little pop fly pass for a walk-off field goal. Yep. Okay. So that's what killed his soul last year, and that's what drove him to say, I'm on retirement. I, I got to come back because I have, what was his line? Unfinished business. Yep. Well, this year it didn't work out for he him didn't come to back finish for his business. So I do... I hurt for Tampa because <laughs> he went down there in a pandemic year and turned the Suckineers into the championship right. Buccaneers in his first year. Well, <laughs> it forced you and I to make Tampa Bay Buccaneers games must-see TV yeah. because we, we had no choice. We right. had to watch what, what's Brady going to do next. Yep. Okay? So for the last three years, have you missed one snap of a Tampa game? No. I doubt it. No. Uh, going forward next year, uh, you might miss some snaps of Tampa Bay. Everybody's going to miss some snaps. <laughs> I think so, because <laughs> I don't know where they're going to turn. Right. Are they going to go to Kyle Trask or, or Blaine Gabbard or and what? They, and they got a lot of big-ticket uh, oh, guys man, that's man, getting are, on up there in age. Man, it just it kind of leaves you high and dry for the moment. Yes. Yeah. So, anyway, I will miss him. I don't know that you will, but I will. And, well, we, <laughs> yeah. well, we know <laughs> we're going to have at least one topic a week. I yep. mean, a day to talk about him because yep. he's good, bad, or indifferent. <laughs> he's going to do something that we must talk about. Right. Tom Brady. And at some point down the road, obviously, we will welcome into the, him into the Fox family right. in some as yet undetermined role. But yeah. but that's somewhere down the road. Skip, it's like if debate TV had been in effect yeah. with Jordan. Mm -hmm. you, you think there could have been a game that Jordan played that somebody we weren't going to talk about him at least once? <laughs> he's Mike. He's Tom. That was it. <laughs> Or Brady, however you want to yeah, address it. I mean, he should go by one name. He should be either Tom or Brady. But you know who he is. Yes, we do.
Guys, he posted that retirement video less than an hour and a half ago, and it already has over 6 million views. Goodness. Tom, we wish you the very best. Yep. Congratulations on an amazing career. All right, speaking of amazing career, Shannon, let's talk about your guy, LeBron. He's all gold. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.